Well, hello, YouTube. I know, we don't talk a lot. It's okay. It's not you. It's me. But we can take this relationship to the next level. I just wanted to show you something cool real quick. So I'm just going to steal two minutes of your time because, I mean, really, what else are you doing with your life? This is a game that I was playing with Hakon. And I, he's my noob in training for this moment. And so at this time, you've got red team kind of going with a, a same opener as blue team. I'm on the blue. We are doing striker, warthog. Uh, red team, you've got a neo and paladin. And so game starts off fairly basic, kind of standard, exactly what you'd expect. I've got... Um, Radar Guardian's on, so I've got a pretty good idea of what's coming here. And the replay's broken because I paused it, isn't it? Mm, nope! Okay, good, good, good. Excellent, excellent. Um, so we know that they've got a puddle of Gemini. That's definitely something that's going on. We've got Longhorn, not concerned. Drop a few heavy mines here. Probably end up dropping a few heavy mines there. And so the progression continues. Not a whole lot special going on. So overall, just with the way that Red is maneuvering their units, I would generally give us the upper hand um, because they're not really micro-controlling. They're just kind of building a mass clump. Uh, generally speaking, mass clumps are easy to counter uh, because one, mines, kind of a big liability. They get lucky with the Joker, setting off three mines with just the Joker so they don't actually have that whole tank clump evaporate. I do get one really good heavy mine shot. This is the point where I start to panic. Um, dropping a bunch of tanks down. And I'm telling Hakon, hey, ferry all your tanks over. We have superior numbers and better tanks. And I'm doing the striker sword and all that. He mishears me. He hears me say, ferry all of the units away. So pulls like three or six tanks back. And so we have half the numbers. We lose everything. Um, and so the, the wreckage kind of says it all. Uh, red had a massive advantage from that point. As far as the upkeep, you're like, well, uh, doesn't, don't you have the upkeep advantage? Yeah, but there's, there's a lot of SAMs and stuff, and I also didn't realize this was here. So at this point, I'm like, oh, shit, we've lost the game. Um, so desperation push with a handful of Longhorn. Desperation back up with some zippers. Naturally that completely falls apart. We do get the neutralize, uh, but I do kind of get raped myself, unfortunately. So Red just moves right on in. They take what they know as theirs. We have a firm disadvantage. And then, lo and behold, we discover the hidden cache of units. Um, and so we just kind of roll in with momentum. I swear, I swear, I'm doing this to share something specific. So we're coming in. I do not realize that there are any units here. I'm like, ha! We destroyed the last bastion of defense. Let us press on. Let us take victory. Um, but actually, that that doesn't happen either um, because you have the paladin. You're they're constantly churning out jokers and Gemini. Both players are building right here, and the units are coming out, and they have the ground to ground fire. And the paladin's a freaking tank, man. He just doesn't care when he gets shot in the face. So all our longhorns go down. Uh, red uh, taking some casualties, but overall not many. And so, but I noticed, this is where I noticed, okay, mostly light units. How about light mines? Eh? Eh? So normally a stupid idea, but I want to tell you, light mines are actually good for this exact situation when you are panicking and you're surrounded by light units and your army cannot handle them. Lo and behold, oof, and they activate so quickly. Griner steps in, flackers go down, all the flackers, all the jokers. And then suddenly there's only three or four Gemini, and that's about all they've got. And so that ultimately becomes a deciding factor. They had a good chunk of anti-air and light units there, and now they don't. And all the units that, well, presumably we have in queue... Uh, we can use to take this game back. I just wanted to say, light mines are good. That one always yells at me and gives me crap. And whenever I bring light mines, but I wanted to say, look, they're actually freaking good. <sighs> yeah, it's a six minute rant. Just deal with it. 
But as soon as we capture that middle post, uh, everything just kind of falls apart for red because they can't hold on to their other outposts. I mean, they've got a really strong Gemini clump. Yeah, we don't really have any other units to contend with that. So I just built a spam of zippers. Go here, take the next outpost, take the next outpost, couple of artillery, take the next outpost. It's uh, and as soon as you don't have any land, they get upkeep cap pretty quick. So lay down some heavy mines to try and keep the Gemini from being effective. And ultimately, they're thinking about foot, fort pushing. They're just trying to get upkeep capped first. Um, but if you don't keep map presence, then it just doesn't do you any good. Case in point, here's the demo. Because they, they very blatantly have the superior position here as far as the ability to end the game. But they don't really take advantage of that. So, you know, drop a single tank on fort. Drop a couple artillery around and just take advantage of that lack of presence. When you keep all of your units in one clump, yeah, it's scary, yeah, it's intimidating. This is a noob-stomping loadout that you take into a lot of your starting out games when you're getting into matchmaking, because people, you always feel compelled to go strength to strength. That's not how you win games. You attack where your enemy is not. You know, they have nothing at fort, drop a tank there. They have nothing defending the outpost, drop a tank there. Uh, they have nothing back at this outpost, okay, we'll drop a tank there. And then they won't be able to reinforce anymore. But at this point, it could turn into a base race. So you play some tank Tetris. Drop your tanks in front, get behind, slash. And this is where if Red had more anti-air, they could very well have still been able to win just because of the massive number of tanks they had and the fact that I did not foresee them pushing in that particular path, so there were no heavy mines on that path. But ultimately, because there's no anti-air, the two mechs, the power of the mechs combined completely rips that apart. Uh, we notice that he's still actively deploying units out of that back post, but once the player gets killed, that's basically GG. Neo does spot one of the artillery, but just one quick glance at the minimap, one quick glance at the upkeep tells you that that, that is now over. And I will insist that map presence is huge and that being able to split your units yes you can keep a very large clump it will be very scary but uh, a lot of times you'll be faced with a position where someone will be able to outmaneuver that clump the rest of the game goes fairly predictably paladin keeps trying to drop fort um, that's about that air mech in a nutshell ladies and gentlemen anyway just wanted to share Thanks for sticking around, but hey, this is a good time to plug. Um, if you like the idea of just being a random noob that gets carried, you should definitely consider signing up for the Air Mac Carry Me number four tournament coming up August 25th. Uh, information down below in the description. Definitely be some links for that. The way that tournament works is we will take good players, we will take bad players, we will take all players and we will match them based on how good or bad they are. There will now not be any assigned teams. It's a 2v2 tournament. I will be picking the teams, for better or for worse. Uh, generally, we're trying to keep it as balanced as possible. So the best player in the game is going to be paired with the absolute worst player in the game. Um, hilarity ensues. So anyway, that's going to be basically all day Saturday the 25th. Um, kind of designed for Europe and USA. Uh, if you are in Asia, it might be a little bit difficult to connect, but I highly encourage players of all skill levels to go ahead and sign up for that. Links in the descriptions below. Peace out, yo. Jeez!